cutting across live to Sydney. We're getting in uh, images uh, from the press conference uh, that is going to be held. Uh, Cricket Australia is uh, going to be holding a media conference. This uh, press conference, I believe, is being held at uh, the St. Vincent's uh, Hospital. And Michael Clark uh, there on your screens addressing the media. Let's listen. Very, very sad day for Australian Michael Clark, the Australian captain, will read a statement on behalf of the Hughes family. Uh, once he's finished reading that statement, he will leave the room. Uh, and then uh, beyond that time, I'll step you through the remainder of the proceedings. Um, Michael. This statement is on behalf of Greg, Virginia, Jason and Megan Hughes. We're devastated by the loss of our much-loved son and brother Philip. It's been a very difficult few days. We appreciate all the support we have received from family, friends, players, Cricket Australia and the general public. Cricket was Philip's life and we as a family shared that love of the game with him. We would like to thank all the medical and nursing staff at St Vincent's Hospital and Cricket New South Wales medical staff for their great efforts with Philip. We love you. Okay, um, thank you everyone. Um, James Sutherland, the Chief Executive Officer of Australian uh, Cricket Australia, will now read a statement. The word tragedy gets used too often in sport, but this freak accident is now real life tragedy. Just shy of his 26th birthday, Philip has been taken away from us too soon. It's an understatement to say that we are completely devastated. Our grief runs deep and the impact of Philip's loss is enormous. But nothing compares to the loss felt by those close to him. Philip was a cherished son, brother, friend and teammate. In these darkest hours, cricket puts its collective arms around the Hughes family. To his parents Virginia and Greg and his siblings Megan and Jason, we offer our love and endless support. As a cricketer, Philip was incredibly talented and dearly loved. He was a member of the Australian, South Australian and Adelaide striker squads and a former New South Wales representative. He also played county cricket in England and IPL in India. Without doubt, he was a rising star whose best cricket was still ahead of him. Husey, Huey or Hugh Dog, as he was known to many of his mates, was much love. You only have to sift through the thousands of messages of support, prayers and well wishes for Philip from cricketers and supporters all over the world to understand the affection felt towards him. He will forever be remembered as one of the elite few to have worn the baggy green cap, cap number 408 to be precise. He was a hero to kids around the nation, particularly those in the region around his hometown of Maxville in New South Wales. And he did them proud in his 26 test matches, a tally that looks certain to grow. Well, that was uh, James Sutherland, the CEO of uh, Cricket Australia, addressing the media there uh, in Sydney. Before that, Michael Clark reading out a brief statement on behalf of the Hughes family.